I want to go over the basic two different types of pressure relief valves found in um, oil filters. I know there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that cut apart oil filters, blah, 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 Fram sucks, you know, Wix, Napa is better. Um, I, I agree with that, blah, 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 um, but I'm not going to go into that. I want to show you um, why, though, why I believe um, that one filter is superior to the other that a lot of people don't touch base on, and that is the um, pressure relief valve. Um, here we got a basic Fram. These are all the same one. These are all the 3600s. Ford calls it an FL400S. Um, uh, these are deemed, this is deemed cheapest. This is Fram's best one, supposedly, or one of their better ones. And the Motorcraft is put in the category pretty close to um, Wix and um, Napa, Napa Gold, whatever. But the basic Fram, I'll show you that. Um, the way that the oil filter works is oil goes in, pushes in through these holes on the outside, through the filter media, and out through the center. So you have your top cap. You have your anti-drain back, which just essentially plugs up those holes so once it's filled up, all the oil doesn't drain back into the system. Now this can harden on cheap filters, like this Fram, where this is so hard that that's not going to seal up that well and it's going to allow the oil to drain back so you essentially got a little bit of oil starvation at the beginning engine startup. Um, you got your filter media. Fram, people don't like Fram for because they have paper end caps. Um, personally, I don't, I don't really care because I've never seen and I'm sure somebody's going to post links on the video, blah blah blah, that um, these paper end caps have failed. Um, but I have never seen one. This this filter is about seven years old. It's been sitting under my bench in this oil. I just barely opened it up um, for seven years. And the bottom is not peeling off. I mean, if I force it off, I can force it off. But if it's sitting there, it's not going to get forced off. This was ran, easily ran, you know, three to 5,000 miles. And plus, you know, that filter, that, that end cap's not coming off. Um, the thing that I don't like about this style filter is where the the pressure relief valve is. Oil comes in through those holes, comes across through the body, through these filter media on all sides, into the middle, out the other outer hole. When the engine's really cold, or you know, it's debated whether your overflow also opens up at extremely high engine RPMs, you know, redlining or whatnot. But the oil to go through the end to through the overflow or through the um, pressure relief valve right here which opens up and just allows oil to go straight through and not pass through the filter media, has to actually come in, wash over the filter surface, and then go back up and out, essentially going through unfiltered. The problem with that is any contaminants, large contaminants, even small contaminants, you can actually see um, some sort of wood shaving. You can actually see a piece of grass or something um, right there that is actually pretty hard that would probably get washed right off and flow right through there and right into your main journals and everything else of your engine causing damage could um, throw that back in there now let's step right over to the other style which is like this um, motorcraft here where you have a nice Really nice soft silicone um, anti-drain back valve seals really nice, but the difference is, as you'll notice, on the bottom, nothing plugged up. That's because the the pressure relief valve is these little holes up at the very top. So anytime the oil is too cold to pass through the filter media, it just comes straight in, right through here, and then just straight through here into the inside and right back out. It doesn't wash and never washes over the filter media, never washing out any contaminants. So all the contaminants stay there. Much better design, much much safer for engine use, um, etc. Now you can see that um, motor or that Fram knows this is an issue because in their premium filter You'll notice, well, first of all, it has a nice silicone anti-drain back valve. It has the same um, paper end capped 
filter or paper end cap, yeah, filter media. But they have put a, a lot of oil. They have put a screen. Now the screen isn't much more. It's a really coarse screen, but it's there. So I mean, it would save that stick from actually going in, which is good. Um, it's the exact same design as their their entry level as far as having the same plastic piece everything they just put a filter over it um, better than nothing but still not the best they would be a lot better design if they put the the pressure relief valve at the top um, that's it this is another filter this one's probably at least five years old and again I mean the paper end caps aren't coming off I mean, so whether a filter has paper end caps, whether they decided to do that, I don't know, you know. But you got the debate, too. You know, Fram actually uses a metal clip to seal their ends together where almost all the other manufacturers just glue it. There's no metal clip on there. It's just glued. So, I mean, could that glue fail? I don't know. It's up to interpretation. I just wanted to touch base on the um, pressure relief valve.